friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are talking about another change related testing which is called as regression testing. A lot of us really know this terminology being a part of testing world but when it comes to regression testing, what we want to understand is how it is different from confirmation testing or retesting. When it comes to retesting, we confirm uh, the fix of a defect by rerunning the same test. But as we do understand that regression testing is a change related testing, that means while fixing the issue, the developer would have made any particular set of changes which might have an adverse effect on the unchanged part of the code. So say for example, for a particular module, you have written 100 lines of code but there was a defect in one of the functionality where you modified three or four lines out of 100 and fixed or resolved that issue. Now the point is, what happens to the rest of 96 lines? Does it have a contradiction? Does it have any kind of adverse effect on those remaining 96 lines? So it's our responsibility to measure that as well in order to confirm that this fix of the issue has not created an adverse side effect on the unchanged part. A very simple example to also relate, when you report an issue in any of your product which you are using, could be your cell phone, could be your microwave oven, or you're talking about a TV, that audio is not working out, the speaker is not working. So somebody opens up your TV and fixes the speaker or probably replaces the speaker. But do you just turn on the TV and start watching your videos? No you make sure that this person opened your TV. So any other thing like connecting to a Wi-Fi, uh, running an application and doing all other activities which you used to do earlier without facing the problem or while facing the problem, you will read on them, right? And that's what is regression testing all about. So regression testing can be defined as the level of testing or the type of testing, which is to confirm that a change has not created side effects or any adverse side effects to the unchanged part of the application. Now, can that be applicable in any other cases? Yes, of course. So change can happen in any scenario. One, while fixing a defect. Second, while updating the system. Or even when you migrate a particular product from one platform to another platform. And that's where regression testing becomes a must. So any of these cases, regression testing will be conducted. It's just that the scope of regression would be different. If the defect is limited to a particular module, then regression testing will only happen for that particular module. If you're talking about updates to the entire system, which may have relationship to different modules, then all that modules will be a scope of regression testing, right? So similarly, all other migration part will be the whole application altogether, moving it from one platform to another platform and will be tested for regression. So the whole agenda is to make sure that when this change takes place, the other features are still intact and working as they were behaving earlier. So regression is also a very good candidate of automation because the primary objective is not to find defects, but to make sure that everything is still working fine. So keeping it short and simple, that's what that was all we had to talk about regression testing. Should you have any other interesting words which you want me to talk about, feel free to drop them in the chat box below. I'll be taking up them and talking about it in our one of the videos. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.